All right, so let's start looking at the bronchopulmonary segmental anatomy. First, let's go through the major airways here. We see the trachea here. This is the bifurcation of the carina, and we can see the right and the left main stem bronchi. Let's start with the right upper lobe. So if I put my cursor here, you can see on the axial the right upper lobe bronchial uh, segmental anatomy. There are three segments in the right upper lobe, anterior, posterior, and apical. At this level here, you can see the anterior segment. And if I scroll up a little, you can see the posterior segment there. And if I look on the sagittal imaging, you can see very nicely the branching of the apical, anterior, and posterior bronchial segments. So let's move along and do the right middle lobe. So there is a right upper lobe coming off. At this point here, this is known as the bronchus intermedius. You see that very nicely here on the coronal image. So now let's look at the right middle lobe uh, branching. You can see here if I scroll anterolaterally, you see two segments giving rise to the right middle lobe. Those are the medial and lateral segments of the right middle lobe. All right, so we've done the right middle lobe. Now let's do the right lower lobe. I'll put my cursor here, and you can see here the right lower lobe bronchus. Right off the bat, you're going to see a branch coming off posteriorly, and that's going to be the superior segment of the right lower lobe. You can see the posterior, uh, posterior superior branching of this very nicely on the sagittal image, and you can see it going off here posteriorly and superiorly in order to form the superior segment of the right lower lobe. If I keep coming down, at this point, this part of the bronchus is known as the truncus basalis, and it gives rise to four basilar segments of the right lower lobe in a counterclockwise fashion. The four segments are medial, anterior, lateral, and posterior, MALP. If I put my cursor here and watch, you can see the medial segment giving rise there, the anterior segment, the lateral segment, and the posterior segment. If I keep scrolling down, you come to the right lung base. So that covers the right lung. Let's do the left lung. Here's the left main stem bronchus. As it comes out here, you can see a bifurcation into the left upper lobe and the left lower lobe. Let's do the left upper lobe. The left upper lobe consists of the left upper lobe segments and the lingular segments. You can see very nicely on the sagittal imaging the left upper lobe segments, of which there are two, the combined apical posterior segment and the anterior segment. If we put my cursor here, I can now see the two segments of the lingular lobe, which are the superior and inferior segments. You can see one branch that is superior and one that is inferior. This is also nicely appreciated on the axial image. You can see two sets of bronchi, this is the superior segment, and if I scroll down, you can see the inferior segment there. You can see how this lobe hugs the, uh, the heart. Now, let's do the left lower lobe. So here I put my cursor here. You can already see a branch coming out here posteriorly. That's going to be the superior segment of the left lower lobe. You can see the superior nature of it here on the sagittal image. You can see this bronchus branching superiorly and posteriorly to form the superior segment of the left lower lobe. If I back up now, I... I can see the bronchus here. This is the truncus basalis on the left. This will give rise to three basilar segments of the left lower lobe, anterior, medial, lateral, and posterior. These will come in a clockwise fashion. If I keep scrolling down, first you'll see the anterior medial segment, then the lateral segment, and lastly the posterior segment of the left lower lobe. And if I keep scrolling down, now you see the left lung base. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, Bronchopulmonary segmental anatomy is important to know for localizing disease and also for looking at the pulmonary arteries for a CT pulmonary angiogram as the pulmonary arteries branch along with the bronchopulmonary segments. Once again, thank you for watching.